Hey everyone! So, as you guys know, because I can't stop freaking talking about it, I'm in a new house. In the move, I got rid of and donated a lot of stuff. And one of those things that I got rid of were my house slippers. I actually made them for Valentine's Day. Uh, I have a video for that, I'll leave it up here. I wore those things like all the freaking time. Even when I just ran quick errands outside. Um, like in our yard or whatever, I wore them. So they got pretty beat up, <laughs> I guess, to say the least. And in the end, I decided to just get rid of them instead of bringing them here. So I figured, new house, new house slippers. This is probably like an old trend, but I'm just now getting around to it because I saw them and thought they were cute. But um, I wanted to take some slides or slippers or whatever and cover them with faux fur. It's a really quick and easy project and makes really cute house slippers. Or, I mean, if you want to, you could wear them out. I don't know if I personally will. I guess we'll see. Maybe I will, depending on how cute they turn out. But anyway, that's what I'm going to show you guys how to make today. So let's get started. You'll need a pair of sandals, faux fur, heavy duty glue like E6000 or Shugu or something like that, and scissors. Cut the faux fur fabric to two rectangles, slightly bigger than the top of the sandal. Make sure you pay attention to the way the fur lays. I wanted the fur to lay so that it went from the inside of my foot to the outside. Spread about an inch of glue onto the edge of the top of the sandal, and then lay the faux fur down. Work your way across the sandal, spreading about an inch of glue, and then laying the fabric down, repeating this until you get all the way across. and then repeat for the other shoe. Let the glue cure for as long as the instructions say, which for me was about 24 hours. Then go through and cut all of the excess off. Try to focus on cutting only the base of the faux fur fabric. This will help keep the fur mess down and the edge looking nice. If you just start cutting away at it, you'll end up cutting the fur off in the wrong spot and then send fur flying everywhere. Once you're done cutting, that's pretty much it. Just slip them on and enjoy your new house slippers. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. Thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you are interested in becoming a patron, I'll leave a link to mine right up here and you can go check it out. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and Twitch, and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, then please leave a comment down below. And I'll see you next week.